Here's the question. I'm going to go on a last minute camping trip to Uwari, which I haven't been to since I was probably a teenager. How do you find free campsites? Uh, it's the middle of winter, so the main OHV trails and stuff like that are closed. So what, what do you do to find free campsites? Follow me. We're going to find out. all these little side roads now if this is OHV trail area it's a good there's a good chance this is all going to be closed um, because it's off season we're in uh, February right now but these parking lots like this if this main road is open before you get to this OHV trail which I'd imagine it is I can sleep in any of these parking areas so that's not too big a deal for me it's like as long as this main road is open there's probably all kinds of different options. Uh, these little parking areas where people are going off on all these OHV trails. So I'm kind of looking through those to figure out where I might be able to find a spot, but I'd like to have one that's on the water. So uh, I'm gonna keep looking around and see what I can come up with and I'll get back to you. So typically back home, if you get on a forest service road, it is not paved. I'm noticing we're dealing with pavement here, which is very interesting. All right, so we're turning right. Uh, let's see, we're turning right on Baden Lake. And we got, let's see what we got here. Got a picnic area, a group camp, Baden Lake campground which we're headed that direction. Arrowhead is to the left and Coke boat ramp is to the right. Um, let's see what we can find. I think I'm going to make a detour and we're actually going to go left instead. Something called deep water. And I, here's, yeah, we're going left because this is gravel. I'm ready to get on some gravel roads and not pavement. Pavement was to the right got gravel to the left so that's where we're headed. site up that way and you know, I don't really know um, it's a little interesting when you're out here doing a solo trip in an area you just don't you don't know very well but I see lights coming up so it can't be that remote just a little progress report I'm going down uh, the fire road 576 and I'm gonna show you all that right quick but 576 runs along the, the Yadkin River Anyways, I'm seeing places to camp everywhere on this road, just like this spot right here. Nobody's in it. Um, it makes kind of a U, which you can't see because of my lights. But there's people pulled off the side of the road all the way down through this section. So it's definitely a good spot. I'm headed to the end of it, something called Deep Water Trail, I guess is the name of it. So we're gonna go check that out, see what it's like. I stopped and talked to that campsite and they said that it gets a little bit it gets a little bit rough coming out here. Um we're just gonna wing it, see how the old van does. I'm sure she'd be alright. This is the kind of road I've been looking for. 
make the old girl squeak a little bit. You know what I mean? Get a shot when your uh, headlights are aimed at the trees, huh? So this is a pretty, pretty gnarly little trail for the big girl. Quite excited about this, but I think I see water. I am almost positive. We got, oh yeah, we got water down here. Fish jump. Well, I made it down to the uh, campsite and I just got the, the van set up. Uh, it's a beautiful site. It is pretty tricky getting down in here in something this big. So it's gonna be a lot of fun going out in the morning. Uh, and you guys will get to see that. I'll try to set the camera up where you can see this big old uh, tin can muscle its way up out of this, uh, this gully, if you will. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bed ready I've got the covers on the side of the van and uh, it looks like I've got a camper to my left and to my right um, but they're fairly far away so it's pretty secluded down here and that road coming in is pretty gnarly uh, you guys will get to see that as I leave tomorrow I'll try to set the cameras up so you can check this monster of a brick try to make its way out of this hole uh, that should be pretty fun to see but uh, we'll check you out in the morning Pretty morning out here. Nice and quiet. Just finishing up the last camp egg. And we are going to have some breakfast. Easy camp eggs are ready to go. On dirty plate.
So my impression so far of uh, Uwari in general is it's like a big, giant campground. Uh, everything's really well maintained. It's uh, nowhere near as primitive uh, as what I remember. And I'm not even sure that I've been here. I think I was thinking of somewhere else. So it's very nice. And I would, anybody could come out here and have a good time. Now granted, I have not been on the OHV trails, which I have a feeling could get pretty gnarly, but you're still like, you're just in a big campground, essentially. I mean, I really like the place. It's, it's a great place, I would say, to bring your family. And uh, I'd like to come back when I can hit up the OHV trails in the summertime when they've got them open again, because like right now everything's shut down. Because I'm sure there's some gnarly sections through there. But I mean, it's a really cool place. So that wraps up another episode of the Van Lander. I appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, I came down to Uwari kind of last minute in the dark and I uh, didn't really know the area very well. I was expecting it to be a little bit more rugged uh, and remote and it's not. It's very well maintained. Uh, all the roads leading in are, are very nice. You've got a lot of campsites. There's an equestrian center. They got a shooting range and then they've got the off-road trails which I haven't even tapped into yet. So that'll be in a future video. Again, I appreciate you joining me. I hope you'll uh, tune in for the next episode, which I try to do this weekly. Uh, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you can keep up with what's going on. And uh, until then, keep those tires spinning and we'll see you next time.